Hi, I'm Lynn Suprock, and I'm a designer, a teacher, and a writer for Creative Mixed Media. My blog spot is www.simplyprettystuff.blogspot.com. The name of my business is Simply Pretty Stuff. And in 2014, I'm an honorary member of the Amazing Crafting Products creative team. Today we're going to make a special notebook, one that I'm going to use for an art retreat. This is what you'll need. First I'm going to pick a favorite stencil. This one is by Stencil Girl Products, done for the Art As You Retreat. I'm going to use a notebook that's going to be pretty sturdy, one with a nylon cover or pretty thick cardboard cover. And then I'm going to use resin. I'll use the Fast Set resin in this tutorial from Amazing Crafting Product, as well as some of the colors. I'm going to use fluorescent, I think, this time. Okay, we're going to start by taking some of the mold putty, equal parts. There's a tutorial on this and more ways to mix and use products at www.amazingmoldputty.com. But I'm going to mix this large amount of mold putty up. Okay, and you don't have a lot of time to work with it once you've mixed it. The color should be uniform, and then you're set to go. I'm going to take the pipe and I'm going to roll it out a little bit try to get a little bit of a rectangle uh, going here and I wear gloves even though it's non-toxic and I use a non-stick mat uh, just to keep the mold putty from sticking on things so I'm going to take my stencil I'm going to flip it to the reverse so that it reads backwards press it gently into the mold putty and then I'm going to use a knife or a crafting knife here and just peel away some of the extra. You don't really need a knife. You could you could use your hands or your fingers and just pull some of it away. But this this goes quickly because like I said it does set pretty fast. I'm going to peel it off my mat and reverse it. And then I'm just going to smush the corners um, down or bring the mold putty over to the corners. So I do sort of have a rectangular shape and that's going to be the outline or the shape of my book plate when we're finished. Press on the middle a little bit as well because you want the mold putty to get in the grooves of the stencil on the other side. Okay, once you've done that, you just leave it sit for several minutes. Okay, and then you come back and you can peel off your stencil. You're going to have an image that's also in reverse, which is fine. When you pour the resin onto it, the image will reverse and it'll read the right way. What I need to do next is put a well around this um, so I can pour the resin or a wall and I like the serrated look sort of like a pie pan so I'm going to make little noodle strings of more mold putty and I'm going to line it up vertically and horizontally on my rectangle. Firmly press it onto the existing dried mold putty uh, so that it does make a good seal. So I'm going to put my ends down first and then I'm going to come back and press them along that already um, cured mold putty. I'm going to make my little indentations like pie crust on the sides as well. You get the idea. Okay, and once we've done this, we're going to pick our colorant and we're going to add it to part A of the Fast Casting Amazing cra Casting Resin. It only takes a drop or two, and I'm going to use three drops of yellow, one drop of green to part A, and then I'm going to thoroughly mix all that together till the color is uniform. You can see it's a limey green. It doesn't do anything to set up the resin. Adding colorant is inert. 
but once you add part B to this resin it will set really quickly so you don't have very much mixing time. So I'm going to add some part B and then I'm going to stir it with a stir stick. You stir pretty vigorously because there's really no bubbles that form and since there's coloring in it it's kind of hard to see that it will turn clear um, when it's on its own it, it's a little cloudy and then it gets clear and that's an indication that it's ready to pour. It only takes about 30 to 40 seconds to mix. Scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, and just mix well. You may also feel the cup warm up just a little bit. That's an indicator that a reaction is about to occur. Okay, I mixed up 10 cc, or excuse me, 20 cc's and 20 cc's. So there's a total of 40 cc's of A and B that got mixed into the three drops of yellow uh, um, and, one, and one or two drops of green. So our total volume was just that. And I used a bigger cup, you see I marked it, but graduated cylinders would be, or, or cups would be better. And here we go, it's, oops, got a little ink on my fingers. Uh, it's ready to go. It's a little bit flexible when I pull out. You can see it bends, but that's okay. As it sits, it will harden and it will no longer be flexible. I'm going to take my magic marker or my Sharpie marker and I'm going to put holes where I want to drill so that I can put rivets into the piece. Okay, once I drilled, um, I used an eighth inch drill bit uh, in a Dremel, and I'm going to come back and then trace the dots through the existing holes so that I can then punch out holes with a hole puncher. Now, this, I believe, is similar to that handheld Cropadal that uh, was popular a while back. But if you don't have anything to punch the holes in that has a long um, neck like that, you could also use your Dremel. And then I set up the first rivet just to make sure it fits, and that's the bottom. So it comes with two pieces, top and bottom. And but before I fix uh, the piece onto the notebook permanently. I'm going to use some solvent based ink and just take the ink pad and rub, especially on the edges, I want darker edges, just rub across that plate and you'll see the depressions um, will remain that limey green and any of the areas that are raised will turn black. And the spots that you see on here are not actually part of the stencil, but when I place the stencil onto the mold putty, you know, when I pressed it in a bit, um, there are little gaps where there might have been some air between this, the stencil and the mold putty, but that's okay. I think it adds to the look of this piece for what I'm going for here and what I want to do for my notebook. Looking pretty good, I think. You could use different color inks to mix and match, or you can use um, a gilder's paste or something that, to rub on or rub and buff. It'll, it'll give the same effect. I really like how that looks. Now I'm ready to fasten with the double faced rivets. I'm just going to pop the long neck one in and I still have ink on my fingers from when I was inking the piece but uh, be careful, clean your, clean your hands. Um, I'm put all the rivet tops in the holes and then I'm going to come back and fit them into the holes that are in the notebook. Everything should line up and they should go through with ease. If I open up your notebook and um, see what you're doing, you can do that as well. That might help. All right. I'm 
I put my metal block and then my rubber block underneath of it on uh, and then take my hammer and it ha when I um, put the cap on I'm just going to give a f few quick and steady um, strokes to snap that down I did it to all four of the rivets. I now have a cool art retreat notebook to take to Art as You in Stanford.